Hello, Daryl here, and I'm not a real farmer. What's up everyone, faux farmer Daryl here, and I am happy to be back. Thank you so much for returning. Make sure you like and subscribe to this channel as it is my civil duty to bring you farmer content and if nothing else to grow for you. So I thought I wanted to do something different today and that was show you one of the videos that I've made uh, just regarding a little setup that I have. I had a setup. And uh, I've been using this hydroponic setup for quite some time, which is technically just bins. They're uh, opaque bins that I've found works for me greatly. Now, I did have some trouble here. I did have a lot of trouble with green slime. And this was something that didn't go away very easy. But what if I could change that? What if there is something that I can do? What if there is something that I'm not knowing um, that I will find out? And I think I did. So what we have here is a video that I'm going to show you of a specific setup that I have. Let's jump right into this. So here we have it. Me first toasting my growing. Yes, I always toast with wine. Why not? So I've got a bin. It's a hefty bin. Um, if you look around, we can play uh, Where's Waldo here but I've got some nutrient solution going on that I'm explaining that I'm about to put into the water. So my seven gallon bin is filled up with about five gallons of regular tap water and I'm putting the nutrients in first. Now your nutrients are your solution that you're creating to have these plants grow. This is the things that you can control. Uh, I control the amount of nutrients that I put into my water. Now. If we're playing along with Where's Waldo, you can see that there are three general hydroponics um, uh, nutrient solutions on the right of me. A three-part solution by general hydroponics that's very popular, and uh, I like them. So this is what I use a lot. Um, in this specific case, because I'm growing at a very fast pace, what you don't see behind, directly behind me is this nutrient solution called Medina Grow. It's a one part solution. So after you put your Medina grow in there, you're good. This here, I've already just measured out how much I need uh, for the amount of gallons that I have. And I'm measuring it out. So that's all I am. I'm putting those nutrients into the water. What I'm explaining is your pH levels. Those have got to be just right. And what I'm about to do really is just Test the pH level. I don't want it too high, I don't want it too low. So this is what I'm doing now. Testing the pH level. I'm going old school. Now, if you look really close behind me, there are some things I've kind of strategically put up behind me. So everything is strategically in its place. But I have a pH meter. Uh, the only thing is, is that I still kind of like the old school way of doing things by color. And so looking at the color, of when I put this pH uh, solvent uh, and shake it up here, then it, I, I'm really good by color. Now, let me tell you where I messed up at here. <laughs> that color is so off because I'm putting a substantial amount of solution into this water. So it doesn't really give a true, you know, a true tail sign of really if this, uh, if the pH is right. At this level, when I, I'm over here looking like what the hell? And then I said, oh, okay, yeah, there it goes, yeah. I put a lot of solution in there, and this is the reason why. It's that color. So to be honest, um, that when you put nutrient solution in the water, it is going to mess with your pH. And so I'm showing I've got all green solution, and that could be the reason why uh, my pH is off. But hey, I'm not a real farmer, right? What the hell do I know? The sec second thing I've got going on here is I'm showing you the easiest way to have 
a medium. Um, now you have different types of growing media, right? But you need to be able to separate that plant, that vegetable, that fruit. You need to be able to separate that from the water. So you're usually going to use some type of, you know, contraption to separate it. Now there's different types of hydroponic growth. You've got a DWC, which is a deep water culture. You got an NFT, which is a nutrient film technique. This NFT system would work great for what I've got going here. It's not a large bin. I'm going to grow microgreens. So I've got maybe a 10 day turnaround time. And so I really don't need any hydroton. I don't, I, I'm gonna use that, but I really don't need any soil. I don't need any core. Anything like that, right? All I need is the rapid rooters that I've sprouted those seeds out of and then just put them in that solution and let it do its own work. So how you really uh, master this nutrient film technique is by net cups. So if you look right next to the bin, there are these uh, black net cups. That's what's going to hold your plants and your veggies in the nutrient solution. The styrofoam that I'm jamming, you know, three inch uh, with the hole saw, three inch um, circular um, uh, openings is for those net cups to fit. So that's what I've got going on here. I've got a hole saw and I'm just pretty much making it to where those net cups um, could fit right into that styrofoam comfortably and partially into the water to where those roots remain just damp. Mm hmm. So the whole saw is what you need. That is a very vital and important tool. I've tried to do a grow without a whole saw, just kind of cutting my own circular saws. And let me just tell you, uh, when I was a kid coloring, I did stay in the lines. So I do not have a problem tracing things out but it is impossible to cut with a razor or a knife, the perfect circle. That's why you need a damn hole saw. So that's what I've got going on here. My stupid self, I'm trying to get the styrofoam out the hole saw. You can't do that. So I'm trying to make room and there I am just being as messy as you can be, just putting this damn styrofoam all over me. And just a uh, word to the wise, Man, this styrofoam is not easy to clean up. It's like glue. What? Don't use styrofoam. If you can, use the lids. Use the lids that you actually buy with the bins. Use the lids. So what I've shown here really is that I've got my separator. This is going to separate the water. And now I'm showing you how my net cups fit right in there. And with those net cups in, I can now put my plants and everything into those net cups that are just hitting the top of the water. And that's what I'm explaining here. And from there, you just let it grow. You just let it grow. For microgreens, this piece of paper is a really good piece of paper to sprout your microgreens. So what I'm kind of showing here is the paper or the media that I'll be using to grow actual microgreens. So for a hydroponic setup, you always want some kind of media, right? Something that is going to separate the water and the plant. And that is all I have for today. I hope I was able to explain everything I could to you. Um, if I didn't, sorry. Just uh, have a glass of wine. All right, y'all. Thanks for tuning in. Please make sure you do like and subscribe to this channel as I will be bringing you more content. This was just a simple setup for a bin. If you have that, you can use anything from 
cups to jars to anything. So next show, I will be giving you a larger operation. Let's look at a larger bin. Let's see some air stones in there. Let's see a couple air pumps. Let's see how that looks. Remember y'all, it's a marathon. I grow, you grow, we grow together.